You're all from the Capitol? Plutar cut you out? Don't expect much chit-chat from him. Capitol cut his tongue out years ago. Do you feel more responsibility? Do you feel a different kind of responsibility with this one than you did with the, with the previous film? Yeah, I feel uh, a different kind of pressure. I mean, I think that on the, the, you know, on Catching Fire for me that I felt there was, I had to prove myself a little bit, you know, as the new guy in the game, you know, to the cast, to the crew, the producers, the studio, the fans, everybody. It was a relief that it uh, was received well by the fans and, you know, and critically as well and, and did well in the box office. So even though I was relieved, it was just kind of momentary because it just kind of set the bar <laughs> higher for the, for the next one. So I'm sort of nervous all over again, but it's just a slightly different kind of nervousness. For Jennifer Lawrence's role in it, coming into the project, she said, I'm not sure if this is the, the role for me. Do you see that as an actress now from her, or does she seem to really fill the shoes perfectly at this point? Oh, she fills the shoes. She's no longer reluctant about being Katniss. I mean, she so is Katniss. Nobody else could be Katniss. Mm -hmm. um, I can see, knowing Jen, how in the beginning, before she took it on, that she would have been that way. You know, look, she, she doubted she could sing. I think she sings unbelievably in, in the movie. Um, and sounds great, and I think it's a sequence I'm really proud of, and she hated every second of it, you know? <laughs> she did not want to be singing. Yeah, yeah, and you don't want to blow that scene. Like, yes. you don't want to overblow it, you don't want to, do, do, yeah. You, but she mentioned, this, you know, this is a dark movie, but light set, that's yes. what they kept saying over and over again. Did you ever have to crack the whip? Did you ever have to say, guys, like, let's get in the zone? When we call action, I mean, I will say with this group, because it is a light set, and there's a bunch of, you know, jokesters and sort of goofy people, which is great. Um, but at times, it's like wrangling puppies, you know? But once you call action and the cameras are rolling, everybody's fantastic. We actually have this amazing reel of a series of the moment when action is called on Jen, and you see her change from goofy Jen into Katniss, into v many different sort of, you know, versions of Katniss. Mm -hmm. It's an incredible thing to watch. Can you talk about the role of the soundtrack and the role of music in general? Did you guys listen to music on the set? So occasionally, I listen to music. Um, I found that I was listening to some of our Catching Fire soundtrack. I was listening to the Gravity soundtrack a lot. Sometimes, especially during action scenes with no dialogue, I'll sometimes put music in when we're shooting. We were all fans of Lord. But to get her involved was really exciting, and she and I had a few conversations, and she happened to be performing in Berlin while we were shooting there. And no joke, right across the street from where our set was. So when she finished her set, she walked across the street and came and hung out on set for half a night. And we chatted a lot about the story and about the characters in the movie. And originally the idea was gonna, she was going to do a cover of The Hanging Tree. Um, and then it turned into the song that she did for us, which I think is perfect and really beautiful at the end of the movie. Um, and then we all had the idea that if we're going to do this soundtrack inspired by, do, let's do something special and have her curate it. Let's not have a room of studio executives all voting on artists they like. Let's have somebody who really knows the movies and the characters and the stories and music and the artists and let her her do it. So this is this is her album that she put together. For the latest from HitVix, visit HitVix.com or download the new HitVix app on your Roku device.